Hi guys, West Country Explorer here and for today's video I'm going to be taking you around three different windmills to have a look at. There's a tower windmill, design windmill, a smock design windmill and a post design windmill. So like three examples of three different designs of windmill. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the main bit guys. Well guys our first windmill is going to be Hanukkah windmill but to get there we walk up an old trackway what would have been the main Roman road between London and Chichester known as Stane Street well I mean that's the modern name for it a more modern name it not sure what it would have been called during Roman times. Probably be able to find out on a good old Google. Uh, Stain Street probably came into existence around about 40, 50 AD. It was certainly in use by 70 AD. And like I said now, nowadays, it's, well this stretch is just a uh, Sort of footpath. I know there are some stretches of Stain Street where modern roads are running along it, but this particular stretch, like as you can see, just a little footpath is quite sunken away. Well, quite a bit of a sunken path. Well, like you can see the banks quite high. And can't, it's hard to imagine like, sort of like Roman people using this as a main route. So we just do a little bit of recording up here. Because it's, you can almost imagine little hobbits or other folk from Tolkien's world using this. Like all the hobbits and the dwarves and like the elves <laughs> little view back of the way I've just come oh, I see it's almost got a magical look to it sort of like a it's like a footpath through a tunnel of trees into a towards a magical mystical place or something like that <laughs> I said it'd be quite Nice to come here throughout the year to see the change in seasons. But it must look quite lovely in autumn when all the trees have got their autumnal look to them, all the autumnal colours. But it'd be quite nice at the sunrise and sunset as well to just come and see what it looks like. Well, guys, gonna carry on walking up this little stretch of Stane Street and I'll eventually get you to Hanukkah Windmill well, here we are coming up to the windmill like I said this is an example of a tower windmill uh, a mill was first mentioned here in 1540 built for the Duke of Richmond now this mill is thought to date from the 1740s. It uh, worked until 1905 when it was struck by lightning. And it was um, restored in 34. Further repair work done in 54. And again restored in 2004. I think they've recently done some more work to it. A year or two ago. Let's get you up closer, guys.
the windows are blocked up at the moment. So it'd be nice if there were some kind of original windows in there. Looks like that doorway's blocked up as well. As you can see guys, some amazing views around here. Just over here, I'm going to take you to see a World War II structure. It's a radio direction finding box structure thing. I thought while we're here, might as well include it in the little video. Have a little quick look around, guys. Now the hill that this um, structure and the windmill is on, it's a, it's a um, scheduled ancient monument, the hill. It's a Neolithic earthwork structure. It's uh, quite a bit of history to the place. a bit of graffiti oh, excuse me oh. and it looks like there's a another one over there So there you go guys, that's Hanukkah Windmill. And now, to take you on to the next one. Couldn't resist stopping to record these majestic animals. Just driving along. Suddenly spotted them out the corner of my eye. I was able to pull up and stop. I just quickly grabbed my camera. So didn't didn't bother trying to grab the selfie stick, just grabbed my camera and I thought do a bit of recording, so apologize if the camera works a bit shaky. There's is it one, two, three, four of them? Two are hidden away a bit by the trees, but we've got two a good view of them. Like I said, lovely majestic animals. Well, I'm now in Shipley. So this is just a little sort of Shipley church. But this is the site of the next windmill. You can see it just over there. Shipley Windmill, also known as King's Mill. I think it's got a few other names it's known by. Now, it is in private ownership, so we can't get right up close to it. But we can get up a bit closer. So what I'll do is I'll take go for a little walk through the village and get you a bit closer for a better look. Shipley Windmill, also known as King's Mill, was built in 1879. Uh, at one point it was sort of owned for the public to look around, but now it's in private ownership, so can't go around it. 
but this is a an example of a smock windmill. These like smock windmills have six to eight sides and uh so called because they're uh, reminiscent of the smock clothes that farmers used to wear. Uh, this was used as the location for the Jonathan Creek like TV series. That, when was that on? Was it in the 90s? I think it was. Where Jonathan Creek played a magician that lived in a windmill. Uh, I said this is the one he lived in. Well, the character. This is the one that was used for the TV series. So if you ever ever used to watch that, you know now you now know where the windmill is located. Got a bit of a well there. Church just over in the distance behind the trees. I said, I think it was 2009, it was sold into private ownership. It'd be amazing to live there. <laughs> I said, This is about the closest we can get to it. This is a bridal way along here. But Nice little walk through the countryside if you want to go for a walk or if you want to ride a horse along here. Uh -huh. I said, yeah, Shipley Windmill. Well, our final uh, windmill is High Salvington Windmill. This is an example of a post windmill. So, windmill that turns around on a central post rather than being sort of static with a top that turns around now this windmill was built i think around about the 1750s though there are records of a windmill being here on this site around about the early 1600s So uh, I think this windmill oh, bit of a bit of a dip here. So this windmill did grind flour up until about 1897 and then stopped. But then sort of during bits of the 20th century it was a tea room apparently. But I think in the early 1990s it started grinding flour again. I think, I, I know that certainly up until recently you were able to buy flour that was ground here. I think you probably still can. Well, I don't know if it's been grinding flour during COVID. Possibly not, possibly not. But I like to think it's going to still grind flour. A couple of bits and pieces here in the ground. Sort of little examples of other bits and pieces just come back here. Oh. Sort of little little sails and that but a room I guess that's a storage room I'm guessing but it's on mushroom support now one myth relating to this um, to High Salvington windmill is that the post that it turns on was actually the post of a tree trunk so, I mean that's that myth has been dispelled oh. 
So there you go guys. Three West Sussex examples of the three main types of windmills. Oh, sorry. The ground's a bit uneven here, so sorry if it's a bit shaky. Guess that's a millstone there. That certainly looks like a millstone. So yeah. That one's High Sabington Windmill. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Like I said, I enjoy getting out and about, sort of seeing the different windmills and all the rest. And look forward to seeing you in the next vid whenever I get around to doing it. In the meantime, the usual, feel free to like, comment and all the rest. And take care. See you soon. God bless.